So you want to learn how to create some easy map art for your laser cutter and engraver? Well, if so, you're in the right spot because I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll share it with you. Welcome to this Inkscape tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how we can use Google Maps and Inkscape together to create some interesting SVG art to laser engrave. So with that, one of the first things you need to do is in your browser, go to mapstyle.withgoogle.com. Now, don't worry, I'll have a link to that down below. Now, what this version of Google Maps does is allow us to modify the maps. So as you can see here on the screen, this is when you go to it, what it's going to look like. Now, in this case, we're going to use Detroit because it's going to create some interesting optics. We have water, we have streets. But one of the first things we do as we come here, we need to turn off the labels. The labels are very distracting. And over here, you have a simple control. If you move it all the way over, one of the things you'll notice is the labels all go away. So, boom, first thing out of the way. The next thing is you're going to want to go down here to the bottom, more options. So this will allow us to change basically every aspect of the map and I'm going to show you some of the basic stuff which I use and again you can go at this and change anything you want so a lot of flexibility here so I'm going to scroll down and one of the first things I'm going to do is click on road and then I'm going to click on all and then I'm going to click on color and then I'm going to change the color all the way I'm just going to select basically this far corner and I'm going to select black so it's turned all my roads to a black stroke in fill now this is important because as we go into Inkscape we're going to have to trace this and so this will give us some nice contrast now the other piece that I want to do so I get the outline of the water is I also want to turn the water black so I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click water and again I'm gonna click all and I'm gonna turn the water black also and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and then I'm going to kind of move this so I can kind of center this image. Now, what you're going to need to do is take a screenshot or what I use is the snipping tool. And with the snipping tool, I'm just going to come and I'm going to take a section of this map and snip it. So I have it in my uh, snip tool. And again, you can use any snipping tool. I'm just using the Windows one. I'm going to click copy. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Inkscape. So let's jump in Inkscape. So now I'm running Inkscape and I have a 12 by 12 inch work area set up. Now again you can have different sizes. I just find 12 by 12 is a little bit handy and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this into my 12 by 12 work area. With it in my work area what I'm going to now do is go up here to path and then I'm going to go to trace bitmap and it's going to pull up my bitmap tracing applet and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click update so I can see it here. Now one of the pieces I typically use brightness cutoff for this and I like to have this set at 0.5 is where I have the best luck with these maps. Now again you can play around with this and come up with all kinds of different settings and then I'm going to simply click OK. Now depending on the complexity of your map it might take a minute or two. I have a rather powerful workstation did it pretty quickly just to set expectations now one of the pieces is I slide this over you'll see we have two maps so we can see we have the original map we're going to delete it and now we have an SVG version of this now here you could take this cut it do whatever you want with it in different contexts but one of the things I want to show you one additional detail so I'm going to come over here and say we wanted to make a coaster or we wanted to make a round object is I'm going to take a circle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that circle and I'm going to kind of place it around the mouth of the Detroit River and Belle Isle and in the center right here and then I'm going to highlight everything then I'm going to go back up here to path and then I'm going to click difference and boom we now have a round city Detroit now the pieces if we want to turn this into a coaster that's great uh, we now have this now what I would suggest doing is turning this to black turning these um, the stroke color to black now one of the pieces I left it is blue so it would be easier for you guys to see as I did it but when you go to laser cut it it works better if it's black imported into light burn so here we go 
So again, if you want to do a coaster, one of the things you will need to do is to place a circle around it, a little bit bigger, because we'll use this circle actually uh, as a cutout ring for the coaster, because as you see here, this inner ring doesn't go all the way around, and plus it's joined to all the streets. So when you select the inner streets, it will do the raster engrave, and then when you select the outside, it will actually do the cutout of the uh, map from whatever material, cardboard, etc. that you're using. So again, you can apply this in many different ways to create all kinds of different shaped map art. Again, you could put maps into text, you know, anything where you can use the bland logic of Inkscape to do that. So hopefully you found it handy. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you got any more questions, and we'll catch you in the next Inkscape tutorial video where we do something else cool for the laser cutter. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.